Hi everyone, in this video I am just continuing the mathematical uh, derivation from the previous video. In the previous video I have calculated what is the distance traveled by the electron in the Rippler space. Okay, based on the application of this accelerating voltage Vr, the electron can travel from this gap to this one. Okay, so because of this uh, electron gun, electron gun produces a lot of electrons. So those electrons are traveling in the forward direction and after the uh, crossing this gap, a gap is nothing but this one. After crossing this gap, the electron uh, enters into the repeller space and goes forward direction. But because of the negative potential appeared at this repeller electrode, the electron will be reflected back. Now, what is the distance traveled by this electron we have calculated and named it as X. Okay, that we have seen in the previous video. Now, I, have, I want to explain about the mathematical analysis for the calculation of the output power. Okay, okay, whatever the electrons that are repelled back and creating the reference electron, late electron, early electron, because of that one bunch is going to be created and that bunch gives a oscillation. Okay, early electron gives a positive supply, late electron gives a negative supply and the reference electron gives a zero potential. Because of this variation on the velocity modulation, because of this, the RF output is generated. Now we are going to see what is the amount of power that is generated because of this reflex crash run oscillations. Okay, uh, for definitely for this we should know the Bessel function. Okay, the output power is calculated with the help of Bessel function only. The output power, the output power is calculated with the help of Bessel function okay output power is calculated with the help of Bessel function so the output power P out is equal to output power P out P out is nothing but AC output power RF output power we are getting that's why you can also denote it as PAC is equal to power is nothing but voltage into current so the current produced by this one is we are taking it as i naught and the voltage is v1 because v1 is the voltage that is just we are taking it as coming out from this rf output which is because of the accelerating anode and as well as the rippler accelerating voltage and as well as rippler voltage so v1 j1 of x dash j1 of x dash sine theta naught dash okay this is what the output power expression see all these are experimental results you no need to go for the calculation of this Bessel function and sine theta 1 and everything okay take directly the notation as it is i naught into v1 which is the normal multiplication of current and voltage for uh, the power Along with that, we will be also having the sine and Bessel function. So, phase represents the sine theta naught dash and as well as J1 of X dash which is the Bessel function, which is the Bessel's function. Okay. So, we know that, we know that X dash is equal to the Bessel function. Here, J is a function of X dash which is nothing but V1 by 2v0 into theta0 dash okay v1 by 2v0 into theta0 dash what is what do you mean by v1 and v0 v1 v0 are nothing but v1 is the generated output voltage and v0 is the accelerating anode voltage accelerating anode voltage and v1 is the generated rf output voltage amplitude okay i will write here v1 is RF output amplitude and V naught is accelerating voltage or accelerating anode voltage. Okay, so now just rearrange that equation V1 by V naught is equal to. 2x dash by theta naught dash okay 
so that is equal to 2x dash by theta naught is nothing but the phase angle which can be calculated as 2n pi minus pi by 2 2n pi minus pi by 2 so substitute this in p out therefore p out can be written as p out is equal to what is the expression for p out i naught into v1 into j1 x dash sin theta naught dash okay after substitution of this one in that so 2 i naught into x dash v naught into okay it is actually v1 by v naught okay from this we can write v1 is equal to 2 x dash v naught divided by 2n pi minus pi by 2 okay now substituting that v1 in this equation p out j1 into j1 of x dash sin theta naught dash divided by 2n pi minus pi by 2 okay that is equal to 2i naught x dash v1 sorry v naught j1 of x dash sin theta naught dash into you can just rewrite this 2n pi minus pi by 2 as e into vr minus v naught divided by 2m s v naught into omega okay so the theta is nothing but angular uh, we can we are writing that theta phase angle with respect to the angular velocity omega so that angular velocity is uh, written like this omega into e uh, uh, 2m s v naught by e into v r minus v naught which is nothing but a force force at a distance yes s is nothing but very what what do you mean by s yes is rippler space distance in the rippler space that the electron is traveling rippler space distance okay so for maximum power for maximum power so maximum power we should have the values like consider the Bessel function Bessel function values from standard table one table is there okay one table is there in that we will be having what is the maximum value of j of x dash at what value of x okay so from from that we should consider x dash j of x dash is equal to 2.4 into 0 0.52 that is equal to 1.25 so at this particular maximum value sin theta already we know sin theta maximum value is 1 at 90 degrees so after substituting all these output power maximum is like this 1.25 v naught i naught e into vr minus v naught divided by m s v naught into omega okay this is the maximum power that is coming out from the uh, coaxial cable of this replaced cluster oscillator using this different vessel functions finally we have calculated this uh, p max in terms of the applied voltage and generated current applied voltage v naught is nothing but accelerating voltage i naught is the current that is flowing through the glass tube because of the flow of electrons okay 
uh, all these parameters are known parameters to us see if you observe all these parameters are known parameters so this is what the calculation of the maximum power the next video i have i will explain the efficiency of this reflex crystal oscillator thank you